I just arrived at a state forest that's an hour away from my home. This is a place that I've been to before, but I saw a trail that was once flooded and I couldn't go through it, but this time it was clear. And so I decided to go through it and now I'm right by a lake. I might be able to go fishing. The purpose of this video is basically just to go scouting this entire forest. Well, not the entire forest, just most of it, because this is a really large forest, um, but I'm at a lake. And this is really cool. So let's go check it out. So yeah, there's people down there. I'd rather avoid meeting people right now. <laughs> but yeah, this would be a perfect spot to go fishing. There's no pathway down to go fishing here. It looks like that's the only place. So I gotta go back that way and go down. So let's uh, keep checking this place out. This is like a gold mine of fat wood. There's fat wood everywhere on these pine trees. <laughs> Look at that. This is just beautiful. Oh, all of this is mullein. I gotta watch where I'm going or else I'm going to twist my ankle. I gotta watch out for ticks also. Oh, there's a bunch of homes, I think, maybe. There's a bunch of people's homes. Crazy. Okay. So yeah, all, so all of that behind me is just a bunch of homes. And this forest is pretty large, but it, um, but the perimeter is a bunch of homes and stuff like that. This right here is white pine. White pine is all of this over here. Oh, there's a sign that says right there, there's private property and there's a fence that I walked over. All right, I'm gonna head back. Gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> all right, I'm all done. Let's see if I can go fishing. All right, I'm ready to go fishing. <laughs> Let's go. There's a small beach behind me and there's several people hanging out there. So there were rules and stuff like that for the beach. And it says hooks and swimmers don't mix well. And so I have to go fish somewhere else. So that's why I'm going down the coast here. But uh, I've noticed a few things that's really cool. There's like mussels or something like that in the water. And then there's snails and stuff like that too. So for example, this right here. Yeah, it's like a mussel or a clam or something like that. That's really cool. I'm just gonna go down right here and I'm gonna start fishing. It appears incredibly shallow though. It's only like a foot deep right here. And it looks like it's only a foot deep even out there. All right, so I've been walking for quite a while. I have no idea where to fish. It looks very, very shallow everywhere I go. I'm looking around for possible signs of other people who have fished and I'm not seeing anything. This is a very less traveled spot. Anyways, it appears this state forest is kind of far off. So I doubt that it has like a ton of visitors, you know, even though there's a bunch, of, a bunch of homes and stuff like that around because it's still pretty far off. And the further I go out, there's more and more weeds right up front here. And so it's really weedy here, but it's also very shallow. So I'm gonna get caught on all of this regardless where, of where I cast. Saw some activity here, but I'm not really sure. I might as well just stop here for now actually and just cast and see what happens. So I actually don't have any of my bait with me really, like my worms. I only have the dried up worm that's on the hook right now. And I have some gulp bait. But right now, I have a Carolina rig set up. So I guess I'm gonna be fishing the bottom and we'll see, we'll see if this works. There you go. 
They cast it about 20 feet out, and it feels like it literally is just a foot. Yeah, it's literally just a foot off the ground. Like if I had waders or whatever, I'd be able to stand in the water like 20 feet out. I think this would be a really cool spot to launch my kayak, my blow up kayak. It has a hole, like it has a pinhole in it right now though. So I'm not really sure. I think I'm just gonna pull in just weeds. See, just pulling in a bunch of weeds. At least it rehydrated the worm that I have on the hook. Oh, actually, it's not a worm. It's a piece of liver. Okay, this is still good. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this will be perfect if there's any catfish in here. This is another beach area. There is a bunch of stairs right here that leads up to some place. Oh, it says... <laughs> does that say no kayaking? Let me see. Oh, no, it says no snowmobiling. But yeah, there's a lot of human activity right here. Because this is sort of like a beach area. But it's not as nice as the other one over there. This might be a good spot to fish. All right, let's cast here. There you go. I'm pretty far from the camera, but you can still hear me clearly, huh? That's what's so cool about this microphone, this wireless microphone. This is something that I've needed for a very long time. But what I really needed was basically a, a camera that allowed me to hook up an audio jack. So th that's why this that's why these wireless microphones work. That's what I was about to say before the video got cut off. <laughs> the battery died on me. But uh, yeah, I've been trying to fish this area and uh, I'm not getting anything. But right over here, I actually saw a fish tail. Let's see. Let me show you. Where is it? Ah, here it is. There you go. That right there is a fish tail that's been kind of chewed off. So that means there's definitely fish in here and that looks like a big fish also. So I don't know. It's probably in like the deeper sections of this lake, but like a good 20, 15, 20, 30 feet out, it seems pretty shallow. But yeah, this is another sort of entryway to the lake. But yeah, I'm getting nothing here way too shallow. Like I walked through this entire area and uh, I do see human activity, but I'm not seeing any fishing activity. Like whenever I go to a new spot, go fishing or anything at a lake, like majority of the time I see, I, I see activity of fishing. So like I see fish hooks, I see bobbers stuck in trees, I see fishing line and stuff like that. So it's always a good sign when you seek stuff like that, because it's a good indicator that it's a spot that you can fish. But it's also kind of crappy because there's junk laying around in the woods or at a lake. Like, I don't like seeing it really, but it is a good indicator. Kinda can't help it. I saw a post on Facebook recently saying that we should all enjoy the weather right now because we're in the golden spot in Minnesota because this is the time where it's not scorching hot and it's not too cold. It's just perfect and there's no bugs out or mosquitoes out yet. And it'll only last one week. <laughs> and that's true. Last year though, we didn't have a whole lot of mosquitoes because we had like a drought. It was so freaking hot. Like it went from winter to like a week or two of spring and then it was summer. And then summer was incredibly dry last year. That's why fishing was real bad last year. Okay, I'm gonna try to cast as far as I could possibly can. I'm gonna whip this thing like crazy. <laughs> there you go. See, it's so shallow. Normally when I do this, like I can wait and I can feel it drop to the bottom. Yeah, I'm getting nothing like that. Like it literally feels like it's only a couple of feet out there. And I tossed it a good like 50 feet. I turned my camera off for a moment and then I start seeing a fish. I don't, I can't tell what kind of fish, but it, it's swimming around up in here. 
And I realized that because it's so shallow, it's probably best to have those floaters or like the floating sort of um, poppers or something. Oh, and I see a bluegill right here that's dead in the water. Okay, so it must be bluegill that's swimming around in here. I don't think a Carolina rig would be good for this. So I got this hat recently and the hat is mostly to, to keep the sun out of my eyes and stuff and to have some shade. The problem is the brim. I feel like the brim is too sm like small, I guess. I want it wider. And so I'm gonna see if I can buy a wider sort of hat or, or something. But so far for now, this has been okay. Um, I can clip my microphone right here and uh, pretty much talk and be fine. So it's not on my like shirt because when it's on my shirt, I'm just kind of scared. It'll, I'll bump it and I'll lose it. Yeah, I've got all my fishing stuff here. So I'm tying a small J hook on here. I should have a smaller bobber, but this will work. And it's very shallow. So like even this is too much but that'll be fine. I'm gonna have to backtrack back to that beach area to go back home because my car is parked right up the hill of that beach area back there. And those kids or those people are still there. I feel awkward going back there. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm looking at the lake a little bit more clearly, there's a bunch of like dead fish scattered throughout this area. There you go. Okay. All right, I'm real tired. I don't know if I'm really willing to drive around and do any more exploring, to be honest. I feel like I need to do that. So that way this video doesn't feel like it's just one thing and it was just me trying to fish and not catch anything. <laughs> I'm circling back out into that main street, I think. And uh, I remember on my phone, I saved a bunch of like, spots that I'd like to go and visit and spots that I have already visited. So yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm gonna find the area that I was at before to see if I can collect some fat wood. But it's 7.22 right now. Yeah, it's gonna be dark by the time I get home. Hmm. Take a look at all of that. Look at all those potholes. <laughs> Just gotta go through it slowly. Okay, I'm on a flat road now, I think. I might be okay now. All right, see, take a look at this. These trees are all planted in straight rows and it goes incredibly far. This is so cool. As far as the eye can see. <laughs> Coolest thing about this entire place is all of the low hanging branches like this. This is all filled with fat wood. So my mic ran out of battery, so I have to use the mic, a mic on the camera now. So it might sound different. Yeah, this, you can saw right here. So right here, when I cut closer right here, you'll start seeing the fat wood. So this is fat wood here. It's not as deep in color as other parts because that branch was still somewhat alive. If I end up splitting this, you'll see that it's full of resin. Better piece would be that one right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Do you see the color difference? See how that is much deeper in color than this one? And here's the branch. Look at how amazing that looks. And the reasoning behind the two different branches is the fact that the lower branch still had some live needles and stuff like that. So the, the branch is still somewhat alive. The other one, see? See, so this was on the tree. This was a broken branch. So it probably broke off like maybe a couple years ago broke off like this and then the tree was trying to protect itself and so it pumped a bunch of resin into this branch here up to about a couple of inches here and um, basically filled up the entire branch with resin to protect it, to waterproof it, to keep it from um, having bacteria and bugs and stuff like that enter the tree. But man, the smell is amazing. And the thing is, 
That's really nice. The tree is not being damaged by me taking this. This spot is so cool. There's just trees all over the place. <laughs> I've uh, spent enough time in this area. It's getting late. I don't really know if I want to go to that spot anymore because my plan was to go to that spot that I used to like go to, to find fat wood like this. But I found this spot and this was even better than the other one. And so I think I'm good. I'm gonna call it a day then. I'm just gonna take this home with me and process it a little bit more and uh, call it a day. Yeah, I appreciate you watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Smash that like button because it helps out the algorithm on YouTube. And consider checking out some of my merch on my spread shop. Most of all the income that I'm receiving right now is going towards Raven's uh, operation next month. June 1st is Raven's surgery date where she's going to get her ACL tear uh, paired or fixed. <laughs> That's it for today's video. I will see you next time. Peace out.